If you've ever driven past a landfill, you probably remember detecting an overwhelming noxious stench. Imagine having to live near that every day. Well, a lot of people do because of urban sprawl. And this is actually an environmental justice issue because those who live near landfills tend to be those of lower socioeconomic status and minorities and immigrants. Landfill operators need a better way to measure odor concentration at landfills, which is a very difficult thing to do because odor is such a subjective human experience. My research uses the human olfactory system as inspiration. I've taken human odorant binding protein and I've made a biosensor to detect odor at landfills. There are three components to this biosensor, which you can see on the far left of the slide. One component is the human odorant binding protein. This is a protein found in the nasal mucosa of all humans. It acts as a carrier molecule that carries odorants like a little submarine through the mucus to the receptor neurons to communicate with the brain. The other two components of the biosensor are this fluorophore, which is a fluorescent tag, and the odorant. So in the center part of the slide, you can see when the odorant binding protein is attached with the fluorescent tag, or the fluorophore, it glows like a glow stick. And we can measure this quantitatively using a spectrofluorometer. Now, when that system is exposed to odorants, that odorant binding protein lets go of some of the fluorescent tag and instead binds with the odorant. So the fluorescence decreases. So there's a negative decreasing relationship between the amount of odorant and the fluorescence. So the more fluorescence there is, the less odorant there is. The more odorant there is, the less fluorescence there is. And that way, landfill operators can use my biosensor to objectively measure odor at a landfill by detecting the level of fluorescence.